Whittle C 2025 Strategic Community Plan is the key document which shapes the future direction of our municipality. We worked with the community to develop the plan, a long-term vision for our city for the year 2025. It sets out six future directions that are important to residents and outlines how Council and our partners will achieve our goals. This progress update gives a snapshot of some achievements from the four-year action plan that details Council's work on the future directions between 2009 and 2013. The four-year plan has 122 specific actions and so far 112 of them are already completed or are well underway. Here are just some of our achievements in each of the six future directions. Our city is inclusive and engaged. Every week about 167 new residents from diverse backgrounds move here. Some of the things we do to help everyone take part in the life of our community are communicating with residents with our column in the Whittlesea Leader, our quarterly council newsletter that goes out to every household in the city and moving in kits for new residents to let them know about council services and community facilities. We're developing a reconciliation action plan to build respectful relationships between Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and other Australians. Together with the Sea Beyond Race campaign, part of the locality's Embracing and Accepting Diversity project, this helps create acceptance of people of diverse backgrounds. We've created a vision for leisure with our recreation strategy. It outlines what we will do to meet the community's leisure needs. Our active advocacy program was set up to achieve positive outcomes for our community, with a kit identifying the priorities for funding for services and infrastructure. Access in, out and around our community happens in many ways, through public transport, roads, footpaths and bike paths, and communications and digital networks. Our recent achievements include a new City of Whittlesea website with a user-friendly design and better content and customer service. We've become a release site for the National Broadband Network and secured funding to improve broadband connection and opportunities. We've delivered on our Disability Action Plan, including providing better access to community facilities and an accessibility audit of our new website. We will provide customer service that meets the demands of our growing and changing population, guided by our new customer service strategy. As cycling becomes more popular, we've built bike facilities along the boulevard in Thomastown and a double shared pedestrian and cyclist bridge link over the Darabin Creek. New wayfinding signs are helping pedestrians find their way around Epping Central. The South Morang Railway Station opening in early 2012 was a major transport achievement and the result of a strong advocacy campaign. A diverse local economy offers different career opportunities so people can live and work in the city of Whittlesea. To attract businesses, we need infrastructure and transport planning, affordable housing, skill development and a supportive regulatory environment. Some of Council's recent achievements are working with the State Government and partners towards the planned opening of the Melbourne Wholesale Fruit Market in Cooper Street, Epping in 2014, securing funding for major infrastructure projects like the Lorimar Community Activity Centre and the Whittlesea Community Activity Centre. Another economic landmark is the award-winning MAB development at University Hill in Bandura, with a modern mix of residential, business and retail uses. Businesses can now access a comprehensive range of industry information and tools on our new website. Migrants and refugees are gaining employment and learning opportunities through our Work Ready program. Providing real work experience, the program has helped 26 migrants and refugees since 2010. We also have 11 local people undertaking council traineeships. Places, spaces and events bring people together to socialise and access services. 
They help build our community and an understanding and appreciation of our diversity. Our community hubs bring people together. They are a central place to meet, shop, get a haircut, post a letter, have coffee, visit the library and be entertained. Recent achievements include opening the Bubbup Willem Early Learning Childhood Centre in Thomastown, a dedicated early years learning facility for the Aboriginal community. Rebuilding tennis courts at the Whittlesea Tennis Club and developing precinct structure plans for Quarry Hills and Willert. We continue to celebrate our rich history and diverse cultures with the many community events delivered each year through our Cultural Heritage Program. A healthy community supports people through all of life stages, cares about lifelong learning and has a sense of well-being and belonging. Our community wants local, easily accessed health services and support for young people, families and those who are isolated or disadvantaged. Some of our health and well-being achievements are completing an emergency management plan for the city. Council has opened three off-leash dog areas which are very popular with local dog owners. We've also successfully opposed gambling proposals at Lorimar Tavern and Bridge Inn Hotel. We continue to advocate for a responsible gaming model that minimises the negative impact of gambling in our community. We plan for tomorrow so that future generations can enjoy the environment we live in. We sustainably manage our carbon footprint, water, waste, energy use, our flora, especially our city's iconic river red gums, and our fauna. Population and housing growth, climate change and transport are all challenges for our environment, our future planning and how we live. Our sustainability achievements include developing a green wedge management plan for the sustainable use of Whittlesea's rural land, building the Mernda Aquifer Storage and Recovery at Mernda Village's wetlands, a management plan for bushland quarry hills. And we've also educated the community about an environmentally friendly lifestyle with the 2010 and 2011 hands-on sustainability programs of events. We'll make a final report on the four-year action plan in June 2013. The community plan will be updated after the council elections in October 2012. There will be many opportunities for community members to have their say on our long-term strategic vision. We'll also develop a new four-year council action plan. For more information on our 2025 strategic community plan, pick up a copy from our offices in South Moran, phone the community and corporate planning department, or visit our website.